as we learnt in the last video, microscopes were a really important invention and they completely changed the field of biology in science. They've revolutionized the study of biology because suddenly we could look and examine the individual cells that make up living things and it's helped us to work out how living things have evolved and how they function. So this video we're going to look at the three main types of microscopes and then we'll look at the most common one that we'll use in the lab for looking at cells. So the first type of microscope is called a stereo microscope. And we can see a picture of a stereo microscope. These are the most simple ones. They're really used for just examining the outside of a living thing. The outer structures, which is just the anatomy. So we can see here, we're looking at a, an insect and all we can see is We've zoomed in and we can see the legs and the head. It's really just like looking through some binoculars. And stereo microscopes, they magnify images by about 200 times. So they zoom in by 200 times. The next type of microscope is called a compound microscope. And we can see in the picture here, compound microscopes zoom in quite a bit further than stereo microscopes. So they can examine individual cells. But to do that, we need to actually slice a piece of the organism into a really thin slice. So generally, the living thing has to be dead and we need to slice it and then add it to a little glass slide. And this is called a section. Sections of tissue of the living thing. And compound microscopes, these zoom in a lot further, anywhere up to 1,500 times to zoom in. So we can see both of these two microscopes, they are just using light to view the image. We're either shining a light on it from the outside in a stereo microscope, or there's a light source coming up from underneath in a compound microscope. So both of these microscopes we call light microscopes. which is different to the next one we'll look at, and these are electron microscopes. So electron microscopes, obviously from the name, they use electrons and they fire them in towards the living thing, or the tissue, and then a computer actually detects what happens to the electrons. So we actually don't look through it, we just get a computer image at the end. But these are much more powerful technologies and they can actually zoom in by a million times. So we can see a million times smaller things with electron microscopes. And we can see here they make some amazing pictures too of these are pollen grains zoomed in. So 
So when we're in the lab, the most common microscope we'll use to look at living things is the compound microscope. Remember, this is a light microscope, so we're using light to view our sample. And now we'll look at all the different features of a light microscope so we know what they do, and that will help us when we first start to use them. So let's start at the bottom first. The bottom section is called the base. And there are a couple of parts on the base. Here we've got the switch, which turns the light on and off, because we need to plug these into power to run the, the lamp. And then we've also got the light source itself, which is in this black section here. And the light, it sends light upwards through the sample and then through all the lenses and into our eye. And that's how we can actually see the image. It sends light through the sample. So moving up from the base, we have the back section here. And this section is called the frame. So it holds up the rest of the microscope. We can see there. And attached to the frame, we've got a couple of other features. We've got two knobs here. Sometimes they're joined into one, but here, the bigger one, this is the coarse focus. And then the smaller one is for the fine focus. And both of these knobs, we adjust them and they move the slide at the top and they help us to focus the image. So they allow the image to focus, just like how a camera focuses an image too. Then moving up attached to the frame as well, we've got the stage up here. That's this, this black tray here. And the stage is where we put our specimen on and the light passes through it, through this little hole in the middle of the stage. So the stage holds the specimen. And to make sure the specimen doesn't move around, there are these metal clips, two little clips and we slide the specimen under it. And these are called the stage clips. So the stage clips secure the specimen so it doesn't move around because it needs to hold perfectly still when we focus in. So then moving up even further, we have the top section of the microscope, which is called the head. And the head contains a few other important parts, and in particular, it has the actual magnifying section. So the top part, we have the eyepiece lens. This is the lens that we look through to actually see the image. And then 
Further down, there are three different lenses. One, two, and three. And these are called the objective lenses. And combined the eyepiece and the objective lens, this is what actually magnifies the image and zooms in. What magnifies the specimen. So these are all the important parts of the microscope and we'll get a lot more familiar with them when we first start to practice with microscopes.